if your hands don't look like this did you even do your makeup also guys i'm wearing sunscreen so that's why my color kind of feels off welcome back to my channel or welcome i'm nessie and i appreciate you being here so i turned 27 recently and i've been reflecting back and i learned a ton of lessons so in this video i'm sharing with you 27 lessons i learned while doing my makeup because one of you guys kept suggesting it so let me show you guys what i use in my everyday makeup so my sister got me this cute bag as a gift like years ago and here what i use for every day so eyeshadow lip lip liner mascara cheek and lip tint this one is almost over but i got a new one i use concealer and that's it so i'll start with concealer and the first lesson which is change and reinvent yourself as much as you want so i'm gonna use the small mirror in here gratitude is the secret to manifesting anything and it's the secret to happiness confidence is a skill and everyone can learn that so I like to do concealer in here and here your mental health definitely affects every aspect of your life even your physical health so making it a priority is uh, definitely a must listen to your intuition and learn the difference between your intuition and your anxiety talking stop labeling food as healthy and healthy good bad i understand where this comes from but honestly as someone who dealt with disordered eating labeling food definitely did more harm than good the anxiety fear and shame that comes with wanting to eat or eating something that's unhealthy does far more harm than just eating that thing your skin will continue to change so like for example the skin i had when i was 20 is so much different from my skin now so we need to learn and adapt with it if should we should we spot treats or should I leave it here? I think I just leave it or I'm gonna do If you don't feel your emotions, they gonna stay there until you feel them. Don't attach your self-esteem and self-worth to to your achievement and belongings now i'll do my eyeshadow so i'm gonna use this brush guys how often do you clean your brushes so it's okay to change your mind learn how to communicate whether it is with communicating your emotions with people you love or communicating like your thoughts or uh, in, in society like uh, how to make your points now i'm gonna use this one your hobbies are important learn your love language and then do more of that to yourself and learn the love language of the people you love so that you can show them love in a way they could feel be more kind to yourself make more time to things that makes you happy i don't do this every day but sometimes i enjoy it
Not everyone you meet is gonna stay in your life forever. And that's totally okay. You can literally learn a lot about yourself in like a one week connection or in like... Ow, I poked my eye. <laughs> or... Uh, actually, just one conversation can be enough like to open your eyes to new perspectives. So that's important. I, I think I kind of went overboard with the, the dark eyeshadow. It's okay, we can clean that up. I'll just use the lighter one over it. And like, I'll just define my nose a little bit with like that middle shade one. Let's contour my jawline. So the next one is try to be present as much as you can. If you are dealing with acne, you are not alone. Actually, 80% of people under the age of 30 deal with acne and 70% of them have back acne like I used to feel so alone dealing with back acne but these are the statistics your feelings and emotions are valid my eyes started watering <laughs> this one is a hard one but you are responsible for your emotions and feelings and reactions we love to say they made me angry they hurt me but I found I I have found that it gives you more power to understand your triggers and like to own your emotions and reactions. You can recover. I think I did a lot. <laughs> you can recover from any disease. My lips needed more chapstick. I'm gonna add some chapstick. <laughs> And you can manifest anything you want. Nothing is impossible. This one is gonna be tricky. Don't lower your standards. Oh, I forgot to put the blush. I'll put it after the mascara, it's okay. I always like to take the excess off. Forgiveness sets you free, and it's for you, not the ones who wronged you. It's always this one. It keeps watering all the time. Other people's opinions are a reflection of who they are. It has nothing to do with you. I usually do blush before mascara, and now look at how my... I'm gonna show you how my hands are from the mascara so I can't like I can't use two fingers this tint is super pigmented so I just need to use a little bit oh god I think I did a lot the little mirror is literally I think if I do this if I try to do this another time I'm gonna bring the big mirror in here guys i'm gonna check my face to see what i did and like clean the eyelids and i'll be back for the last one i think i did okay what do you think guys do you like this look also if your hands don't look like this did you even do, do your makeup <laughs> the last one is fear disappears once you face it and sometimes it reappears again and the solution is still the same you just have to face it again thank you so much guys for spending this time with me i really appreciate you i really had fun i hope you like it thank you so much for watching i love you and i'll see you in my next video bye bye